Yeah, oh, 69, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we're going to start. That, that's where we're going to start. Because then they'll be like, what? Not the wait, 69th wait. episode. Just in case Trek. we can salvage this, what what number episode is this in production this, order? This is a this is, uh, in pro- <laughs> this is the the 74th 30. episode of TNG. Fuck. <laughs> you were wait, actually wait, wait, not so, that so, far so, off. Like, so, no, no, we were, so when was 69? 69 was a disappointing one. You remember, I remember you saying, "Oh, that's disappointing that this is what 69 is." I'll go back and check. Uh, oh yeah, right. it, it, it was the most always. Oh, oh uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I yeah. do remember that. The collector one, where he right, he, right, okay, yeah. So, yeah so never really, mind, never mind. Yeah, so that was we've uh, already 69. tapped that well, and it is dry. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Do people uh, even like sixty nine? It's not like a thing. No, I, they, yeah, they like the idea. Funny. They like the idea. <laughs> they like recognizing yeah. I mean, and yeah. saying sixty nine. I think in, I think in yeah. theory, it sounds like a fun idea, but I think no, in no, not in theory practice, either. No. It's not very but, fun. Yeah. Well, it's, porn, it's, makes it look, porn makes it look really fun, but it, not, you're not getting the sights even, and smells that, that are involved. Not even that. Look, not they're, not they're even that. They're professionals. No. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's like it's like both. Okay, well, they really I are. Think, I think if it's two dudes, it fits perfectly. If it's two like ladies or a guy and a lady, the lady is not at a good enough angle to get enough like stuff going leverage. on you know exactly well, leverage <laughs> well i would just, imagine that the problem just is really just getting distracted <laughs> yeah it's like getting, you know both of you yeah. are, are attempting to do something and you're actively getting oh, in that's each other's true. way that's the other thing yeah, yeah. we're just like oh wait <laughs> i'm just um i'm like i think it's one of those things you do just because it's like oh this is a thing that you're supposed to try and then yeah, you realize it's, it's like, that it's yeah. not that great and then you're yeah. like well, you know, why do people yeah. even talk about this or like yeah this. it's like it's 69 like, bro it's like back in college <laughs> <Yeah>. this all <laughs> started because of that <laughs> fucking ricardo did this to us because it's like back yeah. in college people were like oh yeah donkey punch and you're like you would never donkey punch yeah. in real life come on i that's, can't that's, even i can't even <laughs> easily remember what that's supposed to mean and i'm not really know, to go to <laughs> you know you, you, you give her a del taco <laughs> Now is that is that a food item or yet another Urban Dictionary entry? Uh, well, there's uh, the Eiffel like a, Tower. It could, be, it could be both. Yeah, yeah that's, but, you, uh, that's when okay. you give her Del Taco and, and Paris. Parisian <laughs> <laughs> Del Taco. Think of, she doesn't think a shit in Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. Really, I don't even get it anymore. Uh, I just assume I that as soon as you as soon as you name a location, shit gets involved. <laughs> no one's ever done any of these positions ever. <laughs> Secretly, everyone's Wait, just speak, having speak sex. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself, Marvin. <laughs> no, secretly, everyone's just having very, very vanilla sex. And they're all like, yes, we've definitely done that. Yeah, I've definitely they're all doing done the, a, a devil's the Mitch McConnell, sure. yeah. which is the just... Mitch McConnell, <laughs> the turtle. God. Yeah, the turtle. Oh, What's the Mitch Wait. McConnell? You, ju- you just, you just like, with, very like withhold pleasure? No, <laughs> I am so sick no, that, of that's people. That's a Mitt Romney. That's a Mitt Romney. <laughs> Like, I'm so you, sick of people comparing Mitch to a turtle because <laughs> turtles don't deserve it. No, yeah, they don't. Turtles are cool. Turtles are really sweet not, and awesome. not all turtles, turtles are, are cool. Yes. <laughs> I apologize to turtles everywhere. Not all turtles are racist. <laughs> Yeah, uh, many of them are, but you know, <laughs> some I assume considering nice. their upbringing and exposure to other cultures, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh my god! All they know is all they know is a Japanese man who wants to kill them. That's true. <laughs> no, it's an Italian man, technically, right? Oh, because that's true. Mario is Italian. No, Mario's not well, Japanese. <laughs> yeah, Mario is the Italian. <laughs> is that why he gives him? Pizza? I went Ninja is that Turtles. Why he gives you fuck! Oh, you went Ninja Turtles. I thought oh, you went. I thought you went to Mario because no, Mario what, what? indeed also wants to kill Mario all turtles. Mario kills Koopas. They are Which not are turtles. T- well, they never turtle-y. were. They're turtle-ish. But he throws turtles <laughs> at people. <laughs> hmm? yeah, we don't know that those turtles are dead when he throws them. They're just hidden in their shell. They may pop out. He kicks there. a lot of them off ledges. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> Some of them just walk right That's off true. on their own. It That's depends true. on their color. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's still they're... being racist, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. This is a fucking awful way to begin the fourth season. 
of this podcast. Yeah. Welcome well, to season four of the Newbies Star Trek podcast. You, you should cut a lot of this out, dude. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, no, we, no, we, none we, of it's... We, no, you <laughs> didn't. Dude, we went on like a 20-minute like no, rant. We're, on, on we're not cutting any of this shit out. 69ing. We're back to the best of both worlds, part two. With all oh the greatest God. hits, 69 oh, and racism. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you listen to us because us. you love us. Del Taco trashing. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And yes... It, Happy to be back. All those you things know have in common. Well. Scott. Scott has all those things in common. Oh, hey. So, yeah. Yeah. What? Wait, here. what? We promised he would be back and we delivered. <laughs> what the I audience doesn't know. know. You dare. What the audience oh, doesn't boy. know is we've actually recorded these back to back and we just spaced them out, you know, three weeks apart. So we just <laughs> did this. <laughs> uh, by, by the way, I want to, if you're a new listener, um, I apologize. Uh, for nothing um <laughs> you if you're listening to this and you're new uh if you're easily offended this isn't for you we apologize yeah. Yeah. For also nothing. what the hell are you doing listening to part two first yeah <laughs> yeah go listen to part one it's true where there's it's even also- more racial slurs uh <laughs> That's no not a promise uh, but if you're okay with humor uh you know and bad language and people saying dude a lot then dude. you're at the right place yeah Thanks, also, my we should we should quickly since it's the start of a season, let's quickly introduce. That was Ricardo just talking. Person Hello. talking right now is Marvin. Also, there's Dan, Sarah, and Scott. Hey guys, man, Hello. you broke the format. Now no, no one no, knows dude. who's talking well, after you. <laughs> well, yeah. well, you guys, you guys, I was, I thought you guys would be like, yes, I'm Dan. So hey, you went fast, dude. Yeah, we'll just, we'll do, you do, didn't do, really do, give do, us a do chance. Do it. Do, 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 just do it. Well, that's Sarah now no one will talk. know that I am Sarah or Ricardo. <laughs> I I'm Dan. What? God damn it. All right. Hi, whatever. my Fuck name it. is Dan. <laughs> We're moving well, on. Okay. If, <laughs> just listen to us next week. And the person you don't hear is Scott. That's right. Uh, yes. Yeah, Scott is Find helping. out who Scott was next week. <laughs> yeah. And then Scott's- go back and listen to this episode and find out which one he was. Oh, that was Scott the whole time. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Scott, you were in the last episode? <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a serious question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, yeah. you remember? Were you? Were, you must have been very high. I don't yeah. remember, Scott. Dude, it was like <laughs> only two hours ago. I, talk, I talked a lot during certain parts. There were I have some five minute monologues. It felt like I couldn't. I went back and listened. I was like fast forwarding, going, "God damn, I'm still talking." So I'll try to dial it down a little no, bit. No, that's yeah, what you're yeah, here for. You're here to to, to yeah. guide our Pipe hips. down, Scott. We'll Dude. tell you when to talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Scott, what do you think? You have one minute. Start the clock. <laughs> to this, uh, this is Best of Worlds Part 2. This is a Best of Worlds. Best, best of the Worlds. Bo- best of the Both Worlds Part 2. The Bethesda Worlds Part 2. <laughs> worlds. Uh, the, the Outer Worlds Part 2. A highly anticipated uh, conclusion to Star Trek TNG's first two-parter? No, technically Encounter at Farpoint is the first two-parter, and that's yeah, how the it series began started. with one. What are you yeah, talking yeah. about? A terrible first two, the two-parter. Uh, yeah, it wasn't this great. is a lot. Better. I mean, there are probably worse <laughs> ones, but yeah, this one's better than that. Yeah, this one's better than that. But yeah, best of both worlds. What will happen to Picard? Spoilers: He turns back to a human. Uh, <laughs> he's still Picard. <laughs> he's but he has that Picard. robot dick. Marvin, though. why are you ruining it? You the ruined whole the podcast episode. is spoilers. Uh, yeah, yes. But this first uh, this episode first <laughs> aired September twenty fourth of nineteen ninety. Dan. Let's fly around the sun, which will send us back in time so that you can look at history and then tell us audio wise what happened. Around the time of airing, you mean? Around the time of airing. Let's do it. Yeah. So uh, about three months have elapsed since uh, the season finale of Best of Both Worlds Part One. Um, since then, I'm just going to rattle off a few things. Quite a few things would happen, as you'd imagine. Um, let's start with movies. June 22nd. You got Robocop 2. You got yeah, Adam Sandler yeah. joining Saturday Night Live on the same day. Oh. Um, you got in July, you got Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Mm-hmm. Um, it took like the top weekend, like sometime in July and then came back in September for a few more weekends. It's kind of weird. Oh. Um, on July 18th, you got Arachnophobia. 
Oh, and that that scared the uh, shit out of that me. That sounds it's, terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, arachnophobia is responsible for so many like uh, like so much arachnophobia. I mean, it's in cathartic the <laughs> when when they're burned alive, and you're like, good, good, like yeah. And it's, it's what convinces you that they should be screeching as they as they, as they burn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't really like, do that. All this sound like movies always have great sound design for insects that they never have, but yeah, it's, it's like, great. But anyway, the, like yeah. Actually, National Geographic's the worst one because, like, it gets <laughs> yeah. so close and so oh loud God. that it's so it's, impossible. There's no yeah, way these yeah. are real sounds, but they just, like... Yeah, but then they make you think it's supposed to be real because it's Nat Geo, you know? And you're like, oh, yeah, Exactly. The, That's why it's, like, extra, it's extra bad on that channel because you feel ex- especially lied to. Um, <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh, other movies include Die Hard 2, The Exorcist 3... Dark Man by Sam Raimi, and uh, mm. finally the day, or well, actually the weekend before this uh, episode premiered, we got Goodfellas. Yeah, man, this is a summer of fucking bangers. Wow. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, a lot of, a lot of good movies. shit happened. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Robo-Cop, meanwhile, Robo-Cop, Robocop two with that kid. Yeah. So the kid, yeah. the kid did the episode of Star Trek. Then he went over yeah. to work on fucking Robocop. Yeah, it's literally. And what then happened, he never yeah. worked again. Yeah, no, um, he got killed in again. RoboCop 2. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Jane killed the him. RoboCop 2. The stupid the actual cat. RoBocop 2 Green. killed him. Green. And Guinan, <laughs> Guinan is in Ghost. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, yeah, her time so, off between seasons, she went to did Ghost. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Picard was in Ghost. Wait, yeah. when he first started showing he, off, he her plays powers. Henry Hill. Oh right! Oh my God! So <laughs> is he Wait. really? Wait, no, no. no. What are you talking about? I love to see Marvin, Marvin twisting his brain to make it be true. Yeah, he's he's like, yeah, you're doing some, you're doing mental gymnastics. I think what happened is I immediately inserted the 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 holodeck episode straight into Goodfellas for a second. I was like, oh right, that is a thing, and I was like, no, it's not. Dixon Hill is in is in Goodfellas. Fantastic. He's all. I always wanted to be a gangster. That sounds like Chuck <laughs> Connery, <laughs> but what do you? What okay? What Chuck do you Connery. like better, RoboCop one or RoboCop two? One. There's parts of two I really like. I, there's nothing I haven't of two seen I two like. recently enough to to make a call, but I would just mm. assume one. I mean, yeah, one same. is like the more like perfectly made movie, but I feel like two has some moments where you're like, this is pretty great, where like. Like you have the all the prototype RoboCops and they're showing them in a montage and you see how they're all fucking up. Like one of them is like just a skeleton and he tears his own head off out of agony. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it, it kind and, of uh, John Favreau did a little bit of that in, in Iron Man 2. That's a true. Bit, huh? Yeah, that's true. There's parts yeah, of yeah. Iron Man 2 where you're like, oh, this is nice. And there's large parts where you're like, oh, this is terrible. Well, that's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean he had the he had the montage with the bad uh, Iron Man like. Remember yeah. he he was in Congress and they show the video of like all the oh yeah the failed yeah. Iron Man um, yeah because Hammer is trying to to fake the or I mean, copy the Iron it Man it would also Iron be Man. really appropriate if Robocop two was way worse than Robocop one because Iron Man two is way worse than Iron Man one yeah yeah um, I would say Robocop two is not true. nearly as 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 bad as Iron Man two ended up being. oh the, no the, I'd rather watch Iron Man two them. I'd rather watch Iron Man two than watch Robocop two really yeah oh okay. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want that shit. Watch the scene of the shit it's, kid it's, getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> in Robo, nah, Robo put on, put on that robot rock fight scene. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're, we're still <laughs> taking a trip around the sun. God damn it. Oh God, um, sorry. In the realm of music, Mariah Carey enjoyed a solid few weeks on the top of charts with her very first single, Vision of Love. And on July 27th, Dr. Mario was released simultaneously for both the Game Boy and Famicom in Japan. It wouldn't be released in North America until October of the same year. It was a song, right? Dr. Dr. Mario, Dr. Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario. Yeah, that's exactly. That's exactly the theme song of Dr. Mario. (laughs) Uh, The East and West Coast rappers of Germany (laughs) finally... (laughs) <laughs> Put aside the differences. <laughs> Sorry, I got really excited. And over the like, course of the like, summer, fuck, the, fuck Bad Boy Records of Germany. <laughs> uh, over the course of that summer, they were getting their stuff together, signing all the necessary agreements and treaties to reunify their economies and etc. To like reunify Germany, um, all that progress was being the made ceremony. The of Tupac and Biggie on the podium, yeah. and, they're shaking hands. <laughs> and, 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 and and for some reason, Stallone's there, and is he's like. If we if can change, if I can change, 
<laughs> and Tupac could change, and Biggie, and Biggie could change, <laughs> then we all could change. We all could change. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm crying right now. <laughs> um, I can't believe he re-edited that movie. Yeah, he to make took it the robot like, out. less less corny. I, I mean, the, yeah. removing the robot, it's like simultaneously. It's I yeah, I'm like, I'm like, why did you remove the robot? That was really fun and stupid, and it kind of makes the tone. But now he wants it to be more of a serious movie, I guess. So when you it's watch the rocky, reaction shots, I know. serious is the movie. I mean, you can't even <laughs> say on, that slide. it's the it's the one with the robot in it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that, no, yeah, you can't. No, I yeah. mean, it was always known as a montage movie. Yeah, but yeah they're that's all true. montage movies. What are you talking about? No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> this has this has like sixty nine montages. That's <laughs> true. That's yeah. RoboCop. I mean, RoboCop four, Robocop. Uh, Rocky four <laughs> has definitely like I think there's like four training montages. RoboCop three fight the samurai. <laughs> <laughs> or a ninja. I, I mean, yeah, the, ninjas, the entire yeah. middle 30 minutes of the movie is just Rocky training in yeah. Siberia or wherever yeah. the fuck. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah running and up Drago, steps. And yeah. Drago just punching computers. I mean, yeah, and injecting steroids. <laughs> and then yeah. and then he then he punching wins the Cold computers. War. Yeah, the yeah. End. So he, he fights the entire Cold War. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> takes it warm again. All right. Okay. Still, still on the trip, guys. Still on the trip. Wow. <laughs> this is a big sun. Jeez. Well, it's because it's three months. Usually, it's yeah, just yeah. a week. You know. Yeah. That's true. Um, that is good point. Damn it, dude. July twenty six. George H W Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, which is a pretty big deal. Oh, that's good, especially big for deal. your workplace. So look it up and see what that uh, Wait, allows you to do did? and which gives you president? rights. Bush. It was George H. W. Bush. Oh wow! Who okay. signed it into law? He but actually, that was just his job to do it after Congress told him to. That's so true. So it's not like he really did much. Yeah, it's, it's just like that he was did. a president who signed it. <laughs> well, huh. yes, okay. <laughs> Back when politics sort of worked like politics in sort of a weird way, and now it yeah, doesn't. like yeah, you can kind of expect a president to sign a law that <laughs> Congress like actually talked about and passed. And Americans are kind of like, yeah, that's we're a good so idea. far away from that now. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like even if you disagreed with it, it's like, well, that's just how the government sort of works. Now it's like, fuck, we're in a black hole of sad. Yeah. 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 Anyway, moving on. Well, anyway, one week later, <laughs> that same. Old George H. W. Bush kicked off the Gulf War with Operation yeah! Desert Shield, which well, was a response exactly to Iraq's. Want, yeah, yeah it, it was a response to Iraq's invasion and or annexation. Here's the good old Bush we know. Yes. Was, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. I just Bush it, Bush it, and sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize it at the time, but it was uh, notably <laughs> the first war to have live news broadcast from the front lines of battle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mostly mm-hmm. by CNN. So that wow. started to really change the way things got covered. Um, mm-hmm. Also on the same day, though, the 23rd San Diego Comic-Con International opened at the Holiday Inn. Oh, wow. Holiday, Holiday Inn. Inn. They've come a yeah. long way. My God. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they really have. Speaking Scott, were of you which, at that one? I was not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just- <laughs> that would have been 1990. Yeah, yeah. it would have been. Uh, well, it would have been 20 years old. Like, yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, it's not an I, I couldn't it's have impossible. not been there, but I didn't know anything about it back then. So yeah, yeah. right, right. And it also wasn't the. It, it wasn't nearly the same experience. It, is it wasn't now. the pop culture. It was at the Holiday Inn. Now. I mean, can yeah. you imagine? It was probably just in like a little ballroom area. It was, yeah, right. it was, just ballroom, it was literally like, yeah. The, the original Comic Cons were literally yeah. one ballroom. Comic creators. That there was like a hundred people there. Yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah. That, that's probably the, the, the uh, peak peak literally uh, traffic comic yeah. comic creators selling their comics at comic yeah. con wow it, yeah. was, it, it was it was a it comic studios con. and all that kind <laughs> like of stuff. the it fact was... that it called itself international used to be a pretty big joke yeah <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> and at the, at the uh, time Sergio, of this recording, Sergio, uh, what his name is here? Like you know, the guy, <laughs> yeah. Aragonis, yeah. Sergio Leone. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Leone. <laughs> yeah, Aragonis. Aragonis. Hey, Aragonis. Yeah, Sergio Aragonis is here. This is the fastest sketch in the West. <laughs> Stan Lee could have just walked in the room, shook everybody's hand, taken pictures, and like oh, left, damn, and nobody yeah. would have. Yeah, because no. back then it would just been like, oh, yeah, Stan Lee, cool. He's None the wiser. There. Yeah, you yeah. did this. Yeah. Now <laughs> there's like hundreds of thousands of people no. and it shut down an entire city. And- yeah. yeah. And, well, and it's back next then, week you may not have even known recording. what Stan Lee looked like. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's true. That's also true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He started uh, the Stan Lee Steamer uh, business. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. He mildly looks Stanley like him. Stanley Steamer. No, he, no, he <laughs> mildly looks like the. Um, 
Clean the uh, rug. Empire. 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 Yeah, Empire Carpet. Yeah, he looks like <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a slightly like it's not that Stan Lee himself looks evil, but compared to the Empire <laughs> Carpet guy, he looks Jesus. like an evil version of that guy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, wow, yes. The Empire yeah. Carpet people. <laughs> yeah. Today, Stan Stanley um. <laughs> once stole a uh, stole a couch from a couple of friends of mine and I at uh, the hotel at Comic Con many years what? ago. Well, well we were sitting it more than you did. We were he needed it for a total photo op situation. We were sitting on the couch and some like producers or whoever you know ads <laughs> or whatever the fuck they were. Oh, we need okay. We need to we need to take the spot. We're shooting a, a quick thing and then. They shot their thing and then they sort of moved on and then other people sl- swiped in and took the couch away from us. So we oh, lost I thought, our, I thought our, our cherry say, spot. I thought you were going to say <laughs> that people swooped in and started yeah, basking in Stan the Lee. afterglow of Stan Lee's <laughs> ass on the couch. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh my God, Stan Lee sat here. Get they my face against it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, I thought you meant like they stole it. Like, yeah. So- yeah. Like I saw Stan Lee, up to I you Stan was, Lee like- was like, hey, what's up, pal? Can I see the inside of your, you know, your, your hotel room? And then you guys are like, oh, fuck, Stan Lee's here. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I thought he like, like OJ uh, Simpson you and said it was his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, hey, what's out uh, the window? And then he's like, and he just took your goddamn <laughs> Grabs a whole couch <laughs> and runs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, well, one last, bit about, <laughs> one last <laughs> bit about San Diego Comic Con. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a very high chance that you, uh, as a listener of Newbie Star Trek, uh, might be interested in the happenings of Comic Con. And if you happen to be an attendee of San Diego Comic Con this year, listening to this exact episode of the podcast, either on the way there or while you are at the con. Hmm. Well, take a good look around because that was me just now behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going too. Are you going? I'm yeah, going. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm yeah. going to be there somewhere. I'm not <laughs> saying like I have I, like I, I'm going to be at a place where you can like come find me. That's everyone, kinda... go look for we Dan. Should, we should go. We should meet up with people who are there. Up. Aww, do a meet yeah. up. Oh my god, that would be so up. cool. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, if, if if we if we somehow generate some crazy interest out of nowhere, then we can start talking about it on Twitter or something. But. Uh, just, just yeah. uh, it was just funny that it happened to coincide. Yeah. So just spin around up on Twitter in some cardinal yeah. direction. There will have been a Dan in that direction. Just look and for the guy yeah. wearing Pikachu. It was me, <laughs> Barry. I was a Stranger <laughs> Things stormtrooper. Um, <laughs> the very also last Ricardo, thing, Anna Scott. They'll they'll all be there in some capacity. I'll be. Who, who, I am going to cosplay. I am going to oh. cosplay on Did you Saturday. Anna Scott? Yeah, Scott's going too. Yeah, Scott's yeah. going. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sick. Okay, what, what are you, are you gonna be dressed as? What are you as? going as? Yeah, as well, the Angels fan, as a sad fan. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott's wearing a fan an of a, cap, by the way. So. Yeah, of a fake, uh, a fake baseball team because we can't do anything <laughs> right. Well, my friend is going as Seven of Nine from, and this is from the S- Star Trek Picard season one. Seven of nine. Cos- that version. Cosplay. Yeah. That that yeah. version of her. And I'm doing Picard mm. because I can shave my head and be bald and I can't look like anybody else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Perfect. So I, I got a, I got a, it's, it's a very, very not even Picard. I mean, it's only Picard because it's like, oh, it's, that's the vest he wore in a little pin. Oh, from the, you're, yeah, you're doing show Picard like as well. Pants. Yeah, I remember you're you doing the one where he goes to yeah. the sexy island and he's got the, the, the bikini. Oh, God, I wish. Yeah. No. Oh, my, no. Nobody oh wants God. to see that. Nobody yeah, wants to see that. That would be amazing. With, no, sir. With, I would uh, pay with, the, money with the dildo to see idol. That. No. The dildo idol. <laughs> the whore yeah. Yeah, the Horgon. Horse Just carry the Horgon around. around. Horgon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll um, charge five dollars a picture with my Picard with somebody with a Horgon. Uh, <laughs> do you? Do you? So we're do gonna, you know? We're gonna in do the show, did you, did they ever show the? So there's seven of nine, right? Yeah. Did they ever show six of nine? Mm-mm. Sadly, no. no. God, we don't know it, what dude. happened to six of nine. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's probably a porn up version of that. A hundred percent. There's got to be a version of that. Yep. So yeah. All right. The very last bit. Sorry, we're still there. It's we're, we're an hour into this thing. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Such a long well, trip. If y'all would just quit fucking Let- talking. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, September 13th, the very first episode of Dick Wolf's Law and Order premiered on NBC. Oh, oh wow. man. That is a lot. That is a show I've seen way too much of. <laughs> so there you go. Fantastic. Well, you know what we can't get too much of, which is our sponsors. Ha ha. Listen, Whoa. same sponsors. This I, was, I, I thought you were going to say season. Law and Order. 
Well, this yeah, is the spot. The sponsor stayed with us through the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah they sure yeah, did. Yeah, all two awesome. hours of it. I'm going to be pushing <laughs> that stupid idea of like the whole thing, and people are going to have to figure out whether or not like I predicted two weeks ahead of time, like you know, ahead to to Comic Con and all that stuff too. That's right. <laughs> I like it. Uh, our first sponsor, ExpressVPN. Listen, do you want a quality VPN that's both extreme? They actually just upgraded all of their servers so that they're even faster across the board on the more advanced or more often used servers like in America and Europe and Asia. So, What more do you want? More speed? Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. Wait, they'll upgrade again later eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and even more speed. And listen, do you want a super secure VPN that not even governments have been able to hack into and figure out who's been using it? And do you want a VPN that actually works on Netflix and other streaming services that lets you geo hop around the world so you can pretend you're watching Hulu in the United Kingdom and thus watching a selection of movies you couldn't get in America with Hulu? You could be like, the, like that uh, Anakin, Anakin um, movie. What's it called? Where they just get zapped into different parts of the world? The Anakin movie. Phantom Menace? The, the Phantom Menace. The Phantom I'll get to it. I'm sorry for. Me, <laughs> I think so it's called you, like Vapors. No, well, I have right. no idea what this movie. It's Hating like Shifters or Jumper or something. Yes, Jumper. It's called Jumper. Jumper. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was geo yeah. geo hopping. <laughs> yeah, that's Wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he was using ExpressVPN to jump yeah, around the damn. world. So. You want that quality VPN? Head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, you get an extra three months for free, which makes the entire deal 49% off. And if you're not sure you like ExpressVPN, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. There's no risk to you whatsoever. You don't like it, just cancel it within 30 days and you're fine. So I, yeah, have, I, have, a, I have a VPN story. Mm -hmm. I went to Mexico on vacation. Oh, it's true. To a resort. <laughs> And it was a big resort, big resort, and there was two. There was one Wi-Fi network. Mm. Like you know, for it's the whole as fuck. thing. <clears throat> well, there was two: one for one side and one for the other side. Like depending mm. on how how far yeah. you walked. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to use ExpressVPN because if you're not using VPN, then everyone's just they're like, oh, this person's looking at this. It's easy to to, to get hacked like that. Mm -hmm. um, you, it is a security risk you are yeah. taking. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's just a regular rise of free for all. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> People just walk up to you thinking you got a horgon yep. going yep. on. The, the, hey, are you mm -hmm. open for horgons? Mm, you know, like, <laughs> not today. Um, but I use it. And you put it in a plastic bag and, and that's express beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you put a giant condom over your horgon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's, that's what express VPN essentially is. So, again, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek sign up for 12 months you get another three months for free which means the whole thing is 49 percent off all right well right let's get into it right it's the best of both worlds let's Why not on. let's do it ricardo could you please tell us what happened in this episode so star trek huh <laughs> yeah dude ricardo finally <laughs> ricardo's uh the first thing he, Ricardo said that the, they should have done to the Borg ends up being what they did to the Borg, kind of. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> what, what did I say? Little what bit. did I say? You were like, oh, you should give him a virus. And they didn't give him a virus, but they did give him like a, a command. And then they yeah. all apparently, if you make them malfunction even a little bit, they just self destruct. Yeah, they just fucking explode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it seems like, like, a, like, a, yeah. like a failure in design. Yeah, the only me. way I could <laughs> interpret that is that I was thinking, oh, Maybe because they're all recharging at once, their their battery is like overloaded, and because of that, they're gonna explode. Is that what's going on? Because they're not stationed like all recharge at once. Is that maybe I what's see. happening? I don't know. Or like because they're all breaker. recharging, someone is there's no one like watching the reactor or something. I was gonna say it might be like almost a fail safe where they would never have a command where they all go to sleep. So if they all did, it would, it would create this thing. Well, we're the, the cube is vulnerable. Mm. Let's, we have to get rid of it before somebody can take it over that. I don't know if that's ever been like suggested yeah, like as some kind of can like it's a self-destruct mode. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's it, a, because that's a like you said, it will out. I, I'm yeah. not willing to buy that. Yeah, sure. Because the show itself doesn't directly explain what's yeah. going on. Yeah. And, 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 and the Borg. Yeah. 
the the board definitely doesn't seem very precious precious with its own like personnel or right. equipment because you know to yeah. them everything is itself and the same. So and the only thing that they say is that oh this is like some sort of self destruct activated by their own malfunction. I don't know. That could be anything. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. They just said it like it activated a sequence as though there was one to yes. activate. So it must. So be, I guess yeah. that means it must be some sort of plan. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like they protocol, would always right? have. Activated. Like they would be in some kind of like shifts. You know, like you know, first, second, third shift. But if all mm-hmm. the shifts go to sleep. Well, then the, mm-hmm. the cube just says, oh, there's there's a malfunction. We have to destroy ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like for a minute that everyone is saying the pube instead of the cube. The pube? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pube. Sorry, I just had to mention that because I was like, what did you say, Scott? The pube? Yeah. We got to yeah, destroy the, the pubes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the board pube. <laughs> the Sorry, board, that, board, was, board, that was my two cents. They're like, no bush. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is the era Bush. of Bush. Yeah, they, they, they were secretly <laughs> protesting George W. Bush. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no bush. No George H. W. Bush. Yeah. <laughs> no pubes. Daddy, Daddy yeah, Bush. Yeah. Are board not. pubes just a steel <laughs> wool pad? Yeah. <laughs> just wires. Yeah. <laughs> and they put they they tease it out a little bit. They put a they little light make it natural <laughs> with all the nano pubes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I will not be able to unhear like pubes instead of cube. But. <laughs> You may. Anyway. Nor will you, listener. Yeah. 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 Next time you go to the freezer to get some of those ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some ice cubes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Boy. Oh, we're no. five seconds into the episode and we've lost. Uh, well, we're already jumped to the end, apparently. So. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I just had to get off my chest real quick. You know what <laughs> I thought was going to happen? All these cubes on my chest. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Okay. I thought what was going to happen was that they're like, because they're, they're fighting, basically, they're fighting the the Borg, right? Mm-hmm. With, with the knowledge of that Picard has of mm-hmm. all his life. Everything mm-hmm. Picard has learned, they now know. Mm-hmm. So I thought, who doesn't he know? That could fight him. I thought they were going to nominate the lady as captain, and that's mm-hmm. how they're going to win. Or I thought, yeah. okay, they'll uh. they'll get Riker to be captain for a bit, and then he'll eventually see that he's he's recognizing every move I'm making. I'm going to put her in charge and go. You go crazy. You know or I mean? that's the that's the thing that prompts him to at least promote her <clears throat> to first yeah. first officer. Yeah. yeah, and be like, I need your expertise. Not even. I thought she I mean, was. I thought at one point she was gonna become a, a captain and be like, and I was like, oh man, this is really cool. Like they made a female captain the f- fucking fourth season finally. Hmm. Um, that's actually really went thematically cool. appropriate that's, as that's well, based idea. off of Guinan's like discussion yeah. with with Riker. It's like you gotta let go of Picard, man. And yeah, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, you are like Picard number two. Yeah, well, there's a really number one. But you know, <laughs> like yeah. it's yeah. It, since Riker is so intimately linked to Picard and how he operates, like even when Riker starts to act in a way that he believes is not Picardian, it's mm-hmm. still within the realm of possibility that Picard would would come up with the same strategy. Mm-hmm. Yep. In my yep. opinion. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm just watching Ricardo throw tahine down his throat. <laughs> God damn it. What he did? <laughs> he just poured tahini down his yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> sure I, I want. I want to put this on record. And you got to make up for lost time. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's low sodium. Yeah, it is. It is. Nope. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was. I was. I was going to say. Um, I'm eating a delicious snack right now. Mm-hmm. I wanted it to be on record, so I'd, mm-hmm. I remember. I want to know um, what the snack is. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, you're too excited about it. But what it is, it's, it's you put a fruit roll up, and then you put tahini oh. on it, and then you roll it up. Oh, my Ooh. God. It's and like then a, you light it. Like a taco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. You just <laughs> burn it. Spicy taco. Whoa. Mm, that sounds really good. Yeah. Interesting. Fast. I like that. You're welcome, America. And Canadians <laughs> listening. I have, uh, a, I have a, I also have a question for Ricardo based yeah. on what you thought was going to happen Go ahead. based on last, last, uh, on part one. So you were hoping that this was a training exercise for Riker mm-hmm. and, and it was just going to be his training to see if he could actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, like Kobayashi Maru to be a captain. Mm-hmm. And this may be jumping to the end of the episode and you can hold your thoughts if, if it is, but I was wondering if you were satisfied with how the episode turned out that it wasn't that, but 
the resolution was still satisfying to you. It was okay, but even when like so in the in the opening of this episode, we're 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 just jumping around like fucking Tarantino movie back, yeah, sorry. back, back, back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Um it's fine, it's fine. In the beginning, they they the the dude, the old dude says, Hey, you're gonna be the new you're the new captain, right? And yeah. I was still thinking it was all a simulation. It was all a test. Mm. Remember oh, how they okay. made Wesley go and do the test oh, and yeah, that dude oh, yeah, was like yeah. on fire? I thought yeah, this is yeah. the exact same thing. This is a mm-hmm. whole test. But I was wrong. It was fine. I wasn't disappointed, but my in my head, what I had was was too exciting to not think about. Yeah, mm, I see. I what that. what do you cool. do, do? You like which part do you like? Does everyone which part do you like better? Part one or part, part two? two? Oh, that's interesting. The opposite mm. of RoboCop. Ah, I actually think I like part one better. I like part I one. I like part one much too. better. <laughs> I, yeah, you know part it's, two was. Mm. I like part two because you you kind of get a naked Picard. <laughs> <laughs> that That's true. I, That's true. I could yeah. not, Sarah. Goddamn you because of how you <laughs> how you how you hearted out for Picard in his black oh, yeah. suit. He looks super. Oh, but we were watching this one. I was like, there he is. There's my guy. I felt, yeah, I felt yeah, so yeah. bad for Marvin, like having to sit there and watch this next to Sarah. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I was watching, watching with uh, fascination as a, as I see Sarah's expression. <laughs> Scott, as, please go to comic. Con is sexy card yeah, right? in the black I never. turtleneck. With the ma- <laughs> no, no, no. I Please. would go. I would have to as, get the. I'd have the to cutest, like, get a hairy wears- chest and sp- <laughs> get some white with the chest. spray yeah. paint. Yeah, the half some some boxers implants. he's wearing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's only covering mm. part of one leg. <laughs> I mean, he was looking Love good. It. Look, I'm not a gay man, but he was looking pretty good in this episode. <laughs> yeah, he can really rock the black yeah. turtleneck. Yeah. He's really you know, good. it's funny. Yeah, it's so it. funny because the part one gets such a, you know, it gets such high marks in the history of TV, the history of Star Trek for being like this, you know, this, this landmark episode the the, you know, this, you know, Mr. War fire, and then you cut to be continued. But I was, when I was watching this episode, I thought this is, everybody came off of it being like, ah, I wish it was more of like a battle and a whiz bang, you know, enterprise is going to fight the board cube and all that kind of stuff. And I was actually when in rewatching it, I thought it was a super satisfying resolution to the, this is getting to way to the end of talking about it. But to your question, which do I like better part one or part two? I think I kind of like part two better because everybody's mm. doing something. That's I true. Mean, everyone, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone has actually has a part to play. Yeah. Um, versus, every, yeah. You know, even O'Brien is in there getting some shit to do, you know, it's like, there's That's true, uh, yeah. like, there's all yeah. these pieces that it's, it's a great kickoff to a season four and it's a great resolution of the episode. And I actually kind of think maybe it's because I haven't seen it as much because part one is so iconic, but I kind of think that I like part two, maybe just, a, just a skosh better, but we can get there. We keep jumping yeah. around. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. When we get there, I'll explain why, but to me, part one, I get Empire Strikes Back vibes. Sure. And part two, I get Return of the Jedi vibes where I'm like, yeah, fair. part of this is like trying to cobble something together before they can continue their story. Um, but yeah. anyway, that's, 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 let's continue. Let's continue. So, so anyway, fucking Picard, he's a robot, half robot, yes. half <laughs> dick, man. <laughs> Half robot, um, half dick, <laughs> dick, well, half dick, man. <laughs> and um, so immediately the old dude makes uh, Riker the captain, and right away he doesn't appoint a number number one, right? Uh, what is what yeah. is the next first officer? Yeah. First, first officer, officer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you think the first officer would be the captain? That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, ca- the captain is no longer is not an, he's the captain, and it's his first officer. It's like an XO on a navy ship, mm-hmm. like his assistant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. that's all. Right. The captain is so like revered that he is not an officer. It's more like yeah. the first. He can't AD. be referred it's to like the as first an AD. officer. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like yeah, he's the first. And then yeah. and then and then uh, there's, there's a couple things that d- don't matter that happened. And then the the part <laughs> that, that 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 was important to me was the part where the the girl. Um, well, they do fire the captain Shelby? and it fails Shelby? terribly. Shelby like it does nothing. Because oh, if yeah. it did, if it yeah, did do uh, something, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they yeah. can't have a reps of the episode. So yeah. three months of build up is just like killed in like fifteen seconds of. Well, yeah, that was yeah, a shit. Yeah. That was a shitty weapon. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is kind of a bit of a power move. It's like, well, <laughs> that was the only shot we had, and 
the fact that they have Picard negate like you know completely nullified our our strategy. Yeah, because yeah. Picard yeah. knew of the deflectors. So they're like, ha ha, we already figured it out, stupid <laughs> idiots. <laughs> um, and so she can, she eventually meets up with um, Shelby Cobra. Meets up with uh, yeah. with uh, Riker and says, hey. Congratulations. Um, I know we butted head too much and I'll probably, you won't nominate me as first officer, but I still wanted to congratulate you. And I thought that was cool. And it's funny because I hated Shelby in the first episode and then I really yeah. liked her in the second episode. I agree. Yeah. It's totally almost agree. like the two scripts were written at two different times. It's almost like poetry. Yeah. It rhymes. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they get a distress signal from that old dude and he's like ah it's like he looks like ernest borgnine he's like ah (laughs) we're being attacked we're in the battle uh and then then all of a sudden like the signal goes off and he's like ah and clearly like they blew up and stuff i mean that's what they're they're hinting at and then they all decide like hey we're gonna fucking go they're they're all the the fucking cubes headed to earth so they're all going to chase it down Mm -hmm. and then um Fucking Riker pulls everybody into the conference room and he's like, "Sit down, everybody, come in here. Everybody who's important." So Wesley, you don't, you you could stay here. You could stay behind. <laughs> uh, and he's he he gets them together and says, "Hey," he, he basically says, "Like I appreciate you guys and all this stuff, but I need you at your posts. So you guys can't be my number one officer." So yeah, they're in the conference room talking about Wesley, and they say, "He basically says, hey, all you guys are great. All you guys would make a cool first officer, but I need you where you guys are in your positions. And I'm going to make Shelby Cobra because she's got the most race experience. I'm going to make her the first officer. <laughs> most <laughs> race experience? Yeah, race. You know, the Borg race. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the race of Borgs. Yeah. You know what I f- I found interesting in that scene is like Worf and whoever like they like look at each other like uh like really like yeah (laughs) well he tells data why he didn't pick him because he's like you don't you like you don't have ambition you you don't have emotions you piece of shit so i'm not gonna make you my number (laughs) one (laughs) you don't have ambitions or emotions you fucker well well he says data you have no ambition therefore i knew you wouldn't care either way but i just wanted to let you know you were (laughs) very close like i just feel like that's a (laughs) fucked up thing to say to someone like Eh, it is, you don't have ambition. Hmm. It is it is kind of weird to bring everyone into a room to tell them, okay, most of everyone else did not get this, but this one person did though. Isn't yeah. I feel like it's a bit odd way it's to promote weird. someone. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think what he like uh, I'm assuming that the intended goal was to clear the air and make sure that everyone knew like at the same time like all right, I'm going to so. I made a decision that, you know, might not seem the most intuitive right now but hear me out guys this is why mm-hmm. and, and i'm gonna that's tell why you who he, I picked. he led with the explanation <laughs> as to wait wait okay so it's not gonna be you guys because you know I, i'm used to this thing that picard but shouldn't built. you tell someone privately it seems weird to do that in front of everyone like let me tell you why you didn't get the job <laughs> he, he basically <laughs> in front of everyone the, well, else. Yeah. it's not like <laughs> he, it's not like he went everybody <laughs> Well, I guess he, he did go one by one to each person. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's exactly. like American. Yeah, it's like American Idol. Like if he had yeah, taken, yeah, if, there, yeah. if there was a scene where it was like he took Shelby aside and said, "I'm going to promote you," because yeah, Riker like, just needs to be holding a rose. The, this is the <laughs> best time. <laughs> yeah, this is the best time for you to be here, and I'm going to and I'll and I'll tell everybody in the room. Like she should have known, but the fact that he's doing it like a big surprise to everybody yeah. seems very not starfleet esque. He's not. A, he's trying he's to be captainy, but he's also trying to be like a fucking talent show judge very dramatic about it yeah 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 oh well <laughs> oh well and then he has a conversation with um with Guinan, and he, he basically says like hey she tells him first of all she, he doesn't kind of want to meet with her and she says like ah it's fine uh, she just walks right in <laughs> she yeah. walks in and sits yeah. down like it's like and and she I says and, in the captain's and, chair <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um basically it would it boils down to is that she says that he has to let go of picard like he's too he's like you gotta let go of the teat um and, uh, <laughs> and move on, it's my man. Time to stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and be your own man. And again, this is where I thought, like, oh, is this where it turns? Then he's gonna go, he's gonna leave here. He's gonna he's gonna tell Shelby, hey, it's best if you're a captain because he won't expect the unexpected. If you know <laughs> what I mean. And then mm. and then she just starts making crazy moves. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm crazy is just to let fucking Wesley be the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley, he would have killed. Someone. There would have been no more Borg. Wesley, <laughs> drive in, in the future of the show. He's <laughs> just <laughs> beam him yeah. over with two of his own personal experiments or projects, yeah. and he will. 
Yeah. <laughs> and he will Wesley. single-handedly <laughs> defeat the entire cube. Where are those nanobots you yeah. accidentally made that one time? Yeah. Just tossed exactly. them onto the board cube. Yeah. For real. Yeah. He nearly yeah. destroyed the Enterprise multiple <laughs> times with the multiple bullshit times. he could do. Like, hey, Wesley, yeah. do some science projects over there. Just He's secretly off. beam him. Hey, O'Brien, could you just secretly beam uh, Wesley over to the board cube? And they're just like, let's see what happens. Yeah, beam yeah. him over with it's some like, black Wesley, matter. I know that you're box. always careless with your antimatter. <laughs> How about you yeah. take some over to the Wait. Borg? Yeah, exactly. What, what they don't know, what Enterprise, uh, Enterprise, well, yeah, actually, what the Enterprise and Starfleet don't know is that their best weapon is Wesley Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't. Their most dangerous weapon. Yeah. He's, he's, he's considered a war crime to use him, so they can't. Or, or they let they let the Borg assimilate Wesley, and then oh, Wesley no. through sheer and then, will. And then, no, and then when and then then they know go what it's thoughts, like to kiss they, the traveler when, when they down when they download his thoughts, they're like they're too dark, <laughs> and they just. <laughs> and then, what and a then fucking just, dark universe that is if they <laughs> assimilate Wesley Crusher into the collective. <laughs> wow, his and consciousness takes over the Borg. <laughs> He's used so, to commit war crimes. I love the it. Galaxy. So th- they get to they get to the battle, and all the the ships are fucking exploded. They're fucking gone, and mm-hmm. that's that was actually a pretty decent like effect shot. I, it's pretty I cool. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a good bang for your buck sort of moment because you don't have to you know direct the whole battle. You just got to show CBS that was like yeah yeah it 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 shows off devastation and destruction but you don't got to spend a lot of money yeah 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 they definitely wrote it michael pillar definitely wrote it that way specifically because he was like okay they're not gonna they're gonna give us more money because best of both worlds part one was a banger and uh the cbs is very much like oh yeah we can totally increase your budget no worries but they can't do a full-on war so yeah i mean uh, it's not going nuts they won't do yeah. that till first contact, and that's the th- the thing everyone. Eventually well, they wants. do a little bit of it in DS Nine. Oh, right, yes, a little bit, yes. They show some flashbacky stuff, but right. it's also super effective to see the results of a hopeless battle. Yes, it's it's devastating. Like, to, like yeah, because you don't even quite know how how it happened, and you're just like God. Which what choice? To call, sorry to cut you out. They they do that also in uh, JJ's two thousand nine movie where they they come yeah, up yeah. on Vulcan it, and it's just all the busted ships you mean yeah, exactly. you mean where if he didn't fuck up they'd all be dead yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. so anyway uh, the the stupid fucking yeah. the stupid thing that uh, they come up with is like we'll separate to me a crazy plan he's not going to think about they're eventually going to separate the saucer and the and the stem as they call it mm-hmm. um uh, the shaft <laughs> yeah the shaft the enterprise yeah, shaft the, the yes. head separates from the shaft um <laughs> and then yeah <laughs> uh, but first, they 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 talk to Picard and they run all like the things that they basically try and trick him, and he they they can't, you know. That he's like, no, I'm not going to stall for time. No, I'm not going to go meet with you, you piece of shit. I know everything because I'm fucking Picard. I'm Laquisha. Yeah. Um, and he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like um, uh, he's like, uh, f- no deal. Get the fuck out of here with your meetings. This is all a fucking trap. And then Riker's like, ah, cut this shit off, dude. This is, this is pointless. <laughs> and, and they, um, I've wasted all of our time. <laughs> yeah. Wasted all of our time. This is bullshit. And then, so he, he they separate and, uh, Shelby uh-huh. goes on the, the head part and yeah. they, the rest of them take the battle bridge and they go in the, in the old shaft. So, uh, data and, um, Gronk? What's his name? Worf. Gronk. Worf. Gronk. Yeah. Uh, Gronk. Worf. <laughs> yeah. Worf. The they take a shuttle team. and they're going to go in there and they're going to, they're like the Navy SEALs team, you know, like they're yeah. going to get out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Send their best people, you know, the ones that, uh, what's his face said that they're very precious and he needed them in their fucking positions, get sent yeah. out <laughs> to get killed. Send them out. Possibly. That's right. And uh, so he I need you to be in, exactly who you are. Go get on a shuttle and attack this cube. Yeah. yeah. And they Good have luck. some. They, they have like sweet little Game Boy like like controllers. Yeah. On their, yeah. Their yeah. Their yeah. Arm. Yeah. 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 And that's cool. Can I say I something? I, I, I we'll allow it. I we'll love. It. I love the. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I love <laughs> the very the very awesome uh, special effect detail where they said. We're leaving the shuttle bay in three seconds, and literally, mm-hmm. yeah. you're inside. You see the you see through the window, and it's three, two, one, and they exit yeah. the Enterprise. And Dad that is such a cool detail. It's <laughs> such a great yeah. detail. And then, then they say we've penetrated. Hey, penetrated the Borg shields, <laughs> and like mm-hmm. a second later, they're next to the Borg cube. 
Yeah. That's just shot in really, general. There's a lot of really, really great good details. shots like that in yeah. this episode where like, that's a really cool, very cinematic shot. Yes. That mm-hmm. Probably was a really huge bitch to put together. Cause you have to like put this entire plate behind this green screen and get it working. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, and some pre- nice pre- custom lighting. Yeah. Very, very good job that they managed to do with that. It made it look very dramatic as they, as they loved it. Through. I love, I love those little details where it's like, you know, you hear those things in like, in sci-fi stuff where it's like, it's going to take us 10 seconds, like a minute later. All right. Now they're doing the thing. It's like, no, you watch that scene. It's a one shot and they do three, two, and they're exiting the enterprise shuttle bay. It's, fantastic like apparently anyway. this type of attention to detail they apparently do it like a lot so like there's sh- apparently mm. shots where you're on the turbo lifts and you know how the turbo lifts you know they move horizontally oh, and yeah. vertically right? sure yeah. and mm-hmm. they have actually fans have done timings where they're like oh we're going from bridge to this spot and like it actually follows almost the exact timing it would because you see the lights moving when it yeah. shifts tracks and it starts going vertically versus horizontally again. Well, they did that in the original series where they would do vertical and horizontal lines where they were going. Yeah. You know, they would say they'd be going up and like, li- by the way, I'll say that is one mistake, a, a glaring weird thing in the 2009 movie where Spock gets in the turbo lift in engineering and two mm. seconds later, he's on the bridge. It's like you would. Well, that, that's just for dramatic effect. They just, they just <laughs> it's an really awesome fast. shot. No, it's an awesome <laughs> shot because it's, 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 they'd literally go from one set to another set in one shot without changing yeah. cameras. Yeah, exactly. It's a great, it's a great shot, but it's yeah. so logically crazy. Still love it's, it. It's, but it's a super, it's, super fast turbo lift in that yeah, universe. You'd have a headache going that fast. But <laughs> but no, I, I totally get your point. Yeah, that the vertical and horizontal lines and the timing of that. Yeah, really I love cool I love stuff. that. Like a lot of the production design team with Michael Okuda's team and whatnot, they were very much yeah. like, yeah, we're going to really, we made technical manuals. And yeah. We're going to actually try to follow them when we do our part, at least. for We'll do our best design. to make this like a real life place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, oh, man. This is where it gets exciting because um, if you really break down this episode, mm-hmm. Wesley destroyed the Borg. <laughs> I'll tell you why. It, okay. Okay. All right. Throughout the whole episode, they keep talking about Wesley. What, Crusher has this this idea about fucking putting this thing on the phasers on the weapons, so it like it rotates the frequency, so it's not never the same frequency that it shoots at. Mm-hmm. He creates the weapon of mass destruction that kills the Borg that allows him to get Picard out. And at the end, they're still using the thing to shoot at it. It's just n- now on the big phaser thing instead of the little phase. You know what I mean? So I think, and they, and they keep talking about it. They keep saying, Wesley has this thing. He's fucking building. Wesley has this thing. And I'm like, so I don't know any spoilers. I really try to keep n- uh, myself <laughs> not knowing what it's happening. But does Wesley become like, an, like, a, like a weapons <laughs> crater in the future seasons? <laughs> <laughs> like a weapons mass? Like he's an armorer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's the show goes on. He's a, he's a, you figured it out. They created the a new monger. position for he's Wesley. Just, he's the <laughs> iron monger yeah. as they move forward. <laughs> Maybe. Because if it is, that's genius. And I'm on board. Uh, like, I will say there is. Gene uh, Roddenberry, you're, you're a genius for doing that. The story is about fucking this kid who. It's like the opposite of Breaking Bad, you know? This kid. <laughs> <laughs> innocent and good and then he just fucking turns horribly bad the um I, I i will say i won't spoil what happens to wesley in general but this is a significant season for wesley i would really? say yeah yes wow yeah. oh my so, god that's, that, that's all i'll say uh but he finally really fucks the werewolf he fucks the werewolf dude i know it <laughs> <laughs> he fucks the muppet finally yeah. Wait, the, the muppet, muppet yeah his the muppet, muppet, muppet is back yeah, yeah. the muppet yeah. comes back <laughs> Oh no! He gets, held again. he gets he gets even better than the Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. More okay. Sorry, sorry. That's, that's, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, uh, too much. <laughs> I personally think you can't get any hotter than the Muppet, but you know, well, let's see. We'll like, see. Oh, By all means, show me. <laughs> Who's to say? So so um so the SEAL Team Six goes in there and he, they take fucking Picard. Oh yeah, and they yeah. beam him back to the ship. And now they won't sh- really shoot the ship because Picard's in there still. So like they're it's kind of like a they're just it's a Mexican standoff <laughs> the, the, basically the, the, the a little bit. I, but the thing I interpret actually the thing I interpreted it as is that like sir they got Picard <sighs> whatever 
<laughs> yeah. Just can fly away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't really need him. Well, <laughs> yeah. we, we tried to have a, a thing uh, with them, but let's to... just go do it. Yeah, we had a bunch. <laughs> we, we spent a lot of time trying to get this really awesome, like, mouthpiece for our board. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Let's go. We were going to make it easy on him. Let's <laughs> just do it. Um, oh, Picard's wearing the suit as the Borg. That it kinda, He kind of looks like the Wraith. Did, has anybody seen the movie The Wraith? Um, they have more armor to him. Yeah, it's a Charlie Sheen movie. Yeah, yeah, and he's all robot upped. He's he looks like an S and M fucking robot. <laughs> um, well, there there is that shot where as they're upgrading him, oh, God. this is actually like the mo- the one moment of the actually the the episode where I was like, wow, that actually is kind of affecting where they keep putting the armor on. And then he sheds yeah. a single tear. That was like, good. Oh, okay. Wow. That, yeah, that, was scene, awesome. that was awesome. That scene, I fucking cried. Like that was, that was a really emotional scene. Like seeing yeah. the single tear go down. I was like, that's really, it reminded me of that commercial with the, <laughs> with the pollution. <laughs> what? <laughs> with, with the Native American? Yeah, the Native American. Oh, the, the pollution. Yeah. 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 It was really, but that guy yeah. was really white, right? Like yeah. he really yeah, wasn't yeah. Native. Just, well, yeah, just so. you know, speaking of white, you know, they drain the, they drain the color out of uh, Picard's yeah, Picard, face. Yeah, right using a lighting effect. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great, so it's a great effect to make it look like his oh. humanity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Scott's like speaking of white, speaking of white face, <laughs> what a shit. Um, speaking of- <laughs> they had to make Picard more white to make him cry. So, yeah. you, know, you know what I thought it was going to happen there too. Here's an, another theory I had was that one of the he was going to turn one of the Borgs. Like you know how like in Terminator he's like, why do you cry? In <laughs> he has he has like, the Wesley Crusher of the Terminator universe, uh, <laughs> John Connor. He has him like, hey, why do you cry? And then and then at the end he's like, now I know why you cry. And then he wipes the tear. But it is something yeah. I can. Never yeah, do. and I thought this was, was going to happen here. Like one of the Borg is like, why why do you cry from your eyes? And, and then he's like he's like Picard. Was, Picard gets a Borg friend. And I'm then like, I'm so sad. Yeah, and then and then they they end up like going to the lamb. And then um, the other the Borg has to like. Go into the war. I have to take yeah, yep, Picard's yep. back on the Enterprise. The I need to go back and get one of eighty-five. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he dies. He dies, to me. he dies. <laughs> save, he dies. Fucking um, saving Picard. There's and, one board yeah. left. Yeah. And he points to his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must be sure. No, no. You can give me spoilers on this. But terminate. You must lower me into the steel. <laughs> You can you can give me spoilers on this, but if the answer is no, then I'm going to be so pissed. Please okay. tell me that Pic- that Picard keeps the little fucking metal parts in his head. No, he doesn't. Keep Dude, does this not. fucking bullshit. It's a good look. It would look cool. And this Sorry. bullshit. Fuck this show, dude. Yeah. I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to laugh. And that's um, the end of newbie Star Trek. Yeah. Okay. By the way, Stuart wasn't willing to sit an extra 30 minutes in the chair every, every that's day. That's true. They're it's like very poor, interesting, poor by the way, because <laughs> Seven of Nine does. That's yeah. true. Yeah, maybe because they were she like, took it we, for the team. That's. She did. I feel like that's fucking. Uh, well, she was assimilated name? as a child. Sexist. Sexist? No, what was that guy's name? That the the the, the Mr. Sexist, the producer who <laughs> runs Star Trek. Um, who um, kind of took over after? Yeah, Rick Berman. Rick Berman. I feel like that's Rick Berman being like, "How are they going to know she used to be a Borg yeah. if she didn't it's have 100%. a metal yeah. thing on her face?" Not nah, sure. So, yeah, because we'll Rick put, we'll put was, metal things on her face and and a silver glittery jumpsuit. Yeah, you know, that's all, I would have been that's totally all, fine Jesus with Christ. a really sick Mega Man arm. Yeah. <laughs> he has to keep that arm for the rest of his life. Oh, the arm! Awesome. Oh my god, oh, this really shit. impractical. On either Picard or Seven Hundred Nine. I was I was talking about Seven Hundred Nine still, but uh, yeah, on Picard too. Oh, I'll take Mega cool. Man arms yeah. on anybody. Yeah, everyone just lighting. He's just lighting fucking. He's lighting fucking people. People's fucking cigars yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> <He's off. laughs> I got you. It's, I got a, you. it's like BB-8 when BB-8 gives a thumbs up. Yeah. That's how he does yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah. A little lighter yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will. Ag- I way- will accept. I will accept that uh, Seven of Nine had hers from a younger age, and so that's why she keeps them where Picard was. Yeah, yeah. Just cool, assimilated you know, and assimilated just to make it be a communication between her. So maybe they weren't completely embedded in him. So Crusher yeah. could actually be a good doctor and remove them. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll she actually it. apparently did a good job in this episode. Who uh, knew? <laughs> by the way, the main thing, this is the thing that made me go, this is Return of the Jedi, this rescue scene. Because I was like, yeah. okay, so 
in Best of Both Worlds Part 1, the plan is to go in and rescue Picard, and it fails. Okay, so in Best of Both Worlds Part 2, the plan is to go in and rescue Picard, and it works. <laughs> and it's just sure. like the way kind of Re- Return of the Jedi began, because Return of the Jedi, it's kind of like, oh, great. We got Harrison Ford back. Now we have to close the loop of the story, uh, yeah. have this little vignette where we get him back. Then the movie really begins once you have yeah. Harrison Ford back. And it's kind of the way Best of Both Worlds Part 2 is a bit structured, where it's kind of like, okay, well, we got to get Picard back. And once they get Picard back, it's like, okay, now with Picard's back, we do the rest of the story well, but see how that I'll, works. Yeah. I'll posit that in the first time they go to get him, they have no idea what's happening with him. They just think they're going to go grab him away from Borg. And then That's they true. go in there and they see that he's Borg. Yes. And and they've... And that he's you know, nude because they discovered his clothes first. So they're like, oh, where he is, <laughs> That's he's right. fucking naked. Worf <laughs> goes to hug him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and they and they're sort of I, I you know, you they're can so kind of say that rejected they're a hug, little but. bit yes, they're a little bit shocked <laughs> that like holy shit, Picard is now a Borg. We can't, you know, what the fuck do we do? We gotta get out of there. They're under a time crunch and they can't do it. Now they know what to expect and they have a plan to get him. So it's and they know that they, you know, they rotate the phasers, they kill a lot more Borg, by the way, <laughs> g- g- uh, capturing Picard because you know they never adjusted the phaser frequency so but they the figured out how they, to get him and they get him but the first time they try to hug picard there's a force field <laughs> and it knocks him away right yeah. so how come the second time they try to hug picard there is no force he, field because the tear the tear the tear got the the the, the circuits all wet <laughs> they got a hug anti <laughs> hug right. force field the borg are so hyper adaptive that they even adapt to things that already work <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so it just uh, the part there's large parts of this and I think um Michael Pillar explained he was like okay um when I wrote best of both worlds part 1 uh I was on I was just under contract I'm just writing an end to a C- TV series and I wrote it uh and it popped off and he was like oh that's awesome so I'm not going to write uh the second part until uh they renew my contract and when they once they renewed his contract he was like okay, shit, I kind of wrote myself into a corner Yeah, because it's mm-hmm. a very difficult cliffhanger to write yourself out of now knowing that, hey, uh, Patrick Stewart is indeed coming back for season four. And even though there was a lot of audience speculation that Shelby is going to be a permanent member, she's not. But right, I kind yeah. of wrote her that way. So <laughs> what are well, we going to do and, now? And he, had to, he had to write Picard to the point because Picard, uh, John, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Patrick Stewart was under, <laughs> was out of contract and he hadn't resolved his contract Yeah, before season four. And they had to write an episode where it's like, well, we got to be able to go one way or the other. And then he, you know, he signed his contract. And then like you say, Michael Pillar, who was it? Rick Berman. I heard a story where Tim Burton, and, yeah, maybe <laughs> Every, Rick everything. Berman or somebody, somebody walked in and his office is like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. How do I fix this? How do I complete this? What do I do? I don't know how to, I don't know how to complete this show or this, you know, these episodes to figure it out. So yeah, they, to your point, he had really literally written himself in a way that he couldn't write himself out. And I, yeah, maybe there's a couple of logic leaps, but I think, I think what you're saying about them being able to rescue him, they had learned things. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of, and it's, like in Return they, of the Jedi, they didn't have they Wesley, kind of didn't have Wesley as a, as a, as a designer yeah. of weapons, <laughs> like Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You gotta, Look, they gotta release the Kraken. We're sending. <laughs> release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Uh, you know what I wish they would have? They would have turned him with when they went to go get him. Is like the <laughs> Data and Worf are dressed in Shakespearean garb. <laughs> like this yeah. will wake him up. <laughs> Dost thou not remember thy friends? <laughs> they have these mustaches on, and he's like, "Oh my no, god, I've been like, so this. good." Like, oh. he and the lights are coming back to his face. He's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, I remember." And then. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And then as a kicker, just splash his face with Earl Grey hot. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, oh, I'm, oh or he just holds so up a cup of tea. Earl yeah. Grey hot. He comes to no, it. No, they say Earl Grey and he says hot. He completes the hot. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so, and then, and then, then he's so just moving. Yeah. <laughs> and then a single tear. Yeah. Yeah. Of happiness, and then Tim, the, the, Tim, the, Tim the Borg is like, "Oh, I'm moved by this. This, what is this?" And he's like, "This is art. This is Shakespeare." And then, and then he wakes up all the Borg. The Borg becomes sentient, like individually sentient, because 
they uh, they all they all they're inspired create, by the beauty. They they know what love is. They all create a local Shakespeare That's community right. theater. Together. Yeah, man. Now <laughs> I really wish that they had adopted like one Borg who was so like immediately fascinated with human 20th century culture. On- <laughs> Yeah, right. Don't, Just don't wanted worry. to learn how to be a thespian from Picard yeah. specifically. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe not like that. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's specifically what happens. Yeah. He's like, he's like, don't you want to learn about how replicators and things work? He's like, no. Work? no, I'm actually really interested no. in Shakespeare. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's like, what's the deal with Shakespeare? Is all irrelevant. Did, did he really? I write love this stuff Shakespeare. Or, Only or Shakespeare is relevant. That I keep hearing about. <laughs> This text uh, seems to have been ghost written by someone other than Shakespeare. So they so they hijack fucking Picard's brain, like old fucking data plugs himself in to Picard's fucking dick hand. Uh, and and they they start relaying these things and he's like and he starts basically data now knows everything. He's downloading all the files. I I thought then here is when I thought like, oh, okay, okay, they're gonna give him a virus and they're gonna turn data bad. Like car, like oh, it's gonna Knight go Rider? wrong. It's gonna yeah. go wrong. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Michael Scar. There's a style. moment where it feels like it might go wrong because Colm, because uh, like Miles is like over there. It's like, hey, uh, th- th- things are pop- really popping off over here on the console. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting really <laughs> aroused. Are, are you playing Shakespeare? <laughs> uh, and so eventually, like he learns, like, oh, we should try this, and then so they try two bullshit fucking ideas, uh, and they don't work. And then uh, basically. Riker's like, well, we're going to die. And he's like, fucking Wesley, your, your dream's about to come true, dude. Plow this fucking <laughs> this ship into that fucking cube, my man. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the look on good. Wesley's face is almost... <laughs> it it, so it plays as either yeah. shock or... He's like, really? I get to do that? He, he's like, I will, be, I will be responsible into killing thousands of people here and, yeah. and go to Valhalla, the Valhalla of Uh <laughs> And and they're like, yeah, yeah. Um, so then, uh, right, but right before he says, he says, plow us into this goddamn thing. Right before he gives an order to, to, to execute, he, um, old data is like, hold on, I got an idea. And then he's like, give me some time. It's like, motherfucker, you, if you have the idea, you don't, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you dope. Um, and basically, like they, um, a, a lot of this, a lot of that action, by the way, from like he's the fact that he even gets, he goes and get like they, I like a lot of that back and forth dialogue where it's like he he almost says engage and then he does it and he's like uh, I need just a, just another second and Riker's like I don't have another second like to, mm. for me it's like that's like one of the first times where it's like no don't fucking I don't don't keep giving me this I need another minute no I've got to ram this ship into another ship to save it I liked the, that was really great interaction i thought and i thought wesley's uh, hot to trot i can't i can't yeah. hold him back anymore <laughs> wesley has <laughs> got his heavy. finger over this button <laughs> yeah. son of a bitch Dude, I, I, thought, I thought it was great direction and great acting from everybody wesley's about to finger these guys um <laughs> yeah. we've already planted the idea in wesley's head <laughs> yeah he's so there's, willing there's, there's, there's he's no he there's wants no to drive back. this ship into the board so right. I, I never thought about doing this before yeah. I could, and I could ram the ship at any time. So many dead people. <laughs> and, and so he basically says, "Hey, give, give him a fucking, give him a virus and stuff, and and it'll that it'll work." Well, and specifically, so, it's like, oh, put them all in sleep mode. Yeah, yeah. So they put, all decide on, to go regenerate. Put, put your put your vacuum yeah. robot on sleep mode. It'll go back to the base. <laughs> yes, and exactly. so that's what happens. They go back. It's literally, to the base, what happens to yeah, all of to them, recharge. Yes. Yeah, and then and he basically like they, they all go to sleep, and then while they're sleeping, they fucking shoot them. They're like, oh, now they're like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and they shoot them and they kill them in their sleep, which is a horrible thing, right? That, that's not a fair fight. You think you think you think Worf is like this is bullshit. This is not oh, horrible. Love Fuck it. your shit, dude. Uh, we got to wake these guys up and we got to fight them awake. Uh, so then they blow them up and they go and and while they're blowing them up, Picard's having like a fucking orgasm. He's like, oh fuck, and <laughs> and then um he comes out of it and he comes out looking like fucking Weapon X, dude. Fucking just undies and fucking yeah, and the thing in his head. Uh, dude, there's a lot of, you see a lot of the thigh, upper thigh, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's, he's hanging dong there. Um, <laughs> and so he comes out and he, I don't, how did they build him an arm? Is it, this is like return of the Jedi, dude. How, what his this arm's is not there. Cause, cause before they just kind of like just stuck a thing on. No, no, they cut his arm, dude. Yeah. He has no arm. Dude. <laughs> so you're saying well, they, from they, this they, point they on, he's got a robot parts. arm? He just, he got a robot like arm? They do yeah, replicate body parts. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. 
So they, whenever he touches anybody with his right hand, it. it's, it's yeah. his fake hand. His pimp he hand. doesn't feel it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the stranger. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, he can give himself a stranger at any time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. That one, that one we know. <laughs> so anyway, they're like, Picard, are you back? And he's like, I know now why you cry. <laughs> 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 you know oh, God. <laughs> Data. Yeah. Data. I know why you know need why to you cry. cry. <laughs> and then and then they they fucking Picard is back. Here's the thing, it's too fast. This scene should have ended with him in a hospital gown in the infirmary. Yeah. Always about to die because Beverly was treating him. But <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, it, it ends on it ends in like the his quarters or whatever it's called. Yeah, they cut and really fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah they well, he's recovered. like back to working like yeah. ASAP. He recovered he, really he's fast. Got, he, it's like motherfucker, yeah. you have metal pieces in your face, dude. Like, <laughs> let's get yeah. those babies off and then think about coming back to work, dude. Well, yeah. he has like the little band-aids on his face, like or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. adorable. <laughs> yeah. And so, so the Shelby comes in. And she's like, "Hey, we did all right, all right? We're, we're good." <laughs> and then, and she's referring. He's talking to, I mean, her captain. She's all my captain. Um, and she gets on on the desk. Um, and it, it basically Jesus. goes, "This guy is the captain now," and, and mm-hmm. he's like, "I am the captain now." Um, <laughs> And and me. but he she like basically is like full on respecting Riker when in the first episode she was kind of like fuck you mm-hmm. I don't respect you you're you're an idiot get out of the fucking way or I'll fucking yeah. punch you they just been through mm-hmm. war together like a big yeah. big traumatic event so that yeah. you know tends to bring people in the military together I guess when that happens and and then yeah. Picard goes to the window and he's like now I know why everybody cries why clowns <laughs> cry <laughs> <laughs> which is a great yeah. shot you never have seen the exterior I do of like the. It. The captain's uh, ready room before that way, and it's cool. You think he okay, stands there naked? Have, God damn, have- Ricardo! <laughs> what you have me thinking of the riff from Tears from a Cloud playing all somber <laughs> as he as we hover over Earth in the Enterprise <laughs> as oh, a final smash. shot. Oh, yeah. I will put that together yeah. now. <laughs> That's a video. <laughs> I have a question for everybody. So, <laughs> and the record goes. The- record goes. Record goes. Smile now. I'll cry later. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Sarah. So what did you say? when we see Picard looking out, like what? What do you think is going through his mind at that? Time? Oh, trauma. Is he has PTSD? He's, yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah. probe me. They put those things in my butt. Yeah, I, th- I, I think I think what he's going through his head is like, wow, I've been through a really fucked up experience. I can't just okay. Continue so normally. something to remember, he has experienced at this point is um, he no was hands. there as they mowed through uh, like 50 starships. That's oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, he saw like, a bunch of really yeah. awful shit happen. He was kind yeah. of in yeah. control of the destruction of all of those ships that Shelby yeah. named. So I, yeah. I partly He's think, a war criminal. I feel like, I, yeah, he is a war criminal. And so, mm. I mean, I personally think that he's looking out of the window and... I my the first thought that came to my head is I was wondering if he was wondering if any part of the Borg whatever mindset or piece of Borg is like left in him or if like if he's gonna have some kind of repercussion or like also I feel totally like he, possible yeah like are you, you know kind of like saying- if he had COVID like he's kind of like am I gonna be a long hauler like you know oh, like yeah. is this gonna be long with long me COVID. forever yeah dude you know? this is just like right. the will I be reactivated at some one. point. Yeah, yeah, like maybe there, it's somehow living in him somehow. Like that like was got, the first he, thought he got, that popped like in Like he my got head. some residual pubes on him? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Pube. Like his yeah. pubes so, Like are, he goes to the sink and coughs up a few pubes. Yeah, exactly. He's, like, yeah. he's just like, chips. God damn it. Chips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was what I was coming. thinking. I think the point I, of the, I, I think the, point the shot. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, sir. I was thinking like, yeah, there's a lot of PTSD too. That's all I was going to say. I think the yeah. point of the shot is mostly PTSD that he's yeah. like, I'm back as the captain. I have some band-aids on my forehead. But, you know, like like everyone was saying, I, I just mowed through so many starships, yeah. killed so many people. Uh, also, he was awake for the assimilation process. Yeah. So he, I mean, he he's was seen completely conscious everything. as it happened to him physically. Yeah, yeah. like well, we know he was pretty horrific. Yeah, he was like a prisoner trapped in his own body, like, get out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. he said he remembered everything. He yeah. said he he was like, yeah, I, you know, it's not like he was 
knocked out or something and was just like, whoa, what happened? Yeah, all of it he remembers. So I think it's interesting. I think, I think it's interesting to think that if he thought, you know, am I capable of doing this again? Is there something in me that can do this again? But I don't I don't know that necessarily mm. that that's what they're trying to say with the, sh- mm. with the scene or with the shot. I think it's more just he's he is deeply scarred and hopefully you know what the what the show is trying to say is you know with star trek certain things happen to characters in the history of star trek where it's like this deeply traumatizing thing and then the next week it's like oh we're on to the next adventure and we don't even yeah. talk about the thing that had, that happened before yeah. and i th- and i think what they're trying to do what they're trying to set up at this point um with the showrunners and the producers and everybody is that no these things are going to linger on and he and mm. i think that that's i think that's what they're trying to set up with something I like this i wonder if it's this a- will come so are we saying this will come back in this season maybe that ptsd will pop up somehow and he'll I mean, have like could. a freak out well, well, I, think, I, I mean i'm not talking about anything from the season i'm just talking about the fact that as far as an episode goes they're they're showing that Picard is feeling what has happened yeah, to him sure. in the in the last two episodes, and that he's not he's not just sitting there going, "All right, you know what?" In like in the in TOS, Back it would have been Kirk. It. it would have been Kirk sitting in the in the seat going, "Spock, you know, let's go, let's go get that next adventure." Whereas this one is like, no, he's he can't even sip his tea. He's looking out a window, going, "What the fuck just happened to me?" And it's mm-hmm. you know, it's it does. I, I'm just talking about in the context of the episode, in the context of the story, that it's. I think you're giving us spoilers. Him. Are you giving us spoilers? I mean, I do no, wonder no. if it'll come up somehow and, and later yeah. in the season. Well, yeah. yeah. Now that we've talked about it for a little while now, I am <laughs> yeah. really wanting to know, or I hope to see the show address like some of the things that Picard you know, experienced yeah. or ostensibly did as a locutus. I think yeah. it's sort of like a change. It's to demonstrate a change in mindset of how the show is going to move forward. So agreed. One, yeah. Like for example, you know, in the first season, the, you know, the, the Palpatine electricity thing took over Picard. Right. Mm-hmm. And like yeah. kind of made him like shoot force lightning and then like made him do things. Yeah. He's like, um, yes, but, the, yes. but once that episode ended, he was kind of like, Oh yeah, back to normal. Right. Yeah. This time he was taken over and now there he's like, Wow. That was some fucked up shit. Uh, there's going to probably be Well, if some- you told me that the next episode, they completely ignore it and everything's back to normal, I believe you. So, I am eager to see if this is, you know, like an actual shift in how the show begins operating. Like, if we're talking about just moving on to a more um, serialized, like, form of the storytelling where more details from episodes as we go are important or, mm-hmm. you know, significant to episodes that follow like that's cool I'm fine yeah with that. i mean i will say uh tng never becomes a serialized show it, you know it remains yeah. episodic but you know i think it starts becoming a thing where like you know it some, remembers itself yeah it'll have you, consequences you know I mean? that it, last versus yeah, like it, it doesn't necessarily become ser- serialized but but there are things that happen throughout the rest of the show where characters remember things that happen to themselves or to other characters. Right. So you're telling me Which, that at some point Maud Flanders will die hmm. <laughs> and that Apu will have eight children. <laughs> I mean, like there's besides like even the Picard thing, Riker is still, you know, rank of captain. He ends this, this episode with four circles on his neck. He's still a captain. Hey, so, mm. Wait, right, doesn't so- Picard take back his spot or no yeah but that doesn't mean Riker isn't a captain he, really? his rank hasn't been removed from him so you can yeah. have two captains well part of that will be explored uh damn it, you guys are spoiling to. shit dude really? I'm not, I'm not, are you spoiling I'm not, things I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling it but that's actually right, well, just how the well, episode ends not- <laughs> We they stopped all, talking about the ramifications of that last scene then. <laughs> Riker, but it is Riker what it's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Riker oh, yeah. and Picard both have four oh, dots. Does Jonathan Frakes leave to be, do Beyond Belief? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck TNG. I'm going to do Beyond yeah. Belief full time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got to do this. Beyond Belief I mean, pays just better. Compare the two shows. The, the choice like, is all, clear. All I got to do is wear a suit. Oh, and this one I got to Absolutely. Fucking... Beyond Belief 100% is the better gig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. I will be honest. I am far more entertained by Jonathan Frakes on Beyond Belief than I've yeah, ever been by great. Jonathan Frakes on TNG. <laughs> John, Jonathan Frakes is, is like, I don't have to fucking compete, and I don't have to fucking do those stupid fucking 
Shakespeare episodes yeah. that fucking <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Frakes can just tell you you're wrong or I love yeah. those yeah. cut downs of him telling you you're wrong or you're right. Have you ever met a strange over. man in a parking lot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never, right? Have you ever ridden your bike in an oven at eight o'clock in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever dreamt you were a bird and flew through the jungle? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, this, I love what? Beyond Belief. It's like my favorite show ever, honestly. I really do love that show. Favorite show, show ever. Okay. The, the, the best part. I made is, Dan what, and Marvin watch yeah, Beyond Belief. You didn't make <laughs> me. No, I, I watched we it wanted back to when it was with you. Yeah, I, I grew so up watching us. Beyond Belief. If some people the, grew up watching I Star Trek. I called the conclusion of one of the Beyond segments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You called the. Remember, we, we were both watching the wrestling one and we both concluded that oh the wrestler is going to turn out to have been dead the whole time <laughs> <laughs> and he was <laughs> only that it was a total fabrication never happened. <laughs> never happened uh, we fooled you our riders got you not this time <laughs> all <this> right time. <laughs> well what are we what are we gonna how many starships for part two part two of best of both worlds mm. how many starships I this, can't remember this. what I gave the first part. I just know it has to be lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think like everyone gave it like an eight or somewhere in the realm of an eight. Yeah, I want to say that. And if it if I gave the previous an eight, then I will give this a seven. Mm. I will also give it a seven. I think. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Oh, because right. you're hot. You're higher. I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm a high cool, shit cool. right now. I'm gonna do yeah. eight point seven five. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay, all right. You so you're giving it a higher score too. You're you're adding quarters now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember how granular I got. I think I probably was worse at 8. some point. 8. 8. 8. <laughs> 8. 8. 6, 9, 3. I don't know. 8.693. I don't know. 8.6 bar. 8.88 <laughs> megahertz. Um, no gigahertz. What the fuck does back the gigawatts? Future? Gigawatts. Megahertz. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I think mean, I gave you could say gigahertz. One. Yeah, you, you can say gigahertz. Sure. Yeah. I think I gave part one an eight and a half, and I think I would give this one an eight point seven five. Like I say, I think I like oh. it just to just to just I think it's a really good resolution to like what we were saying. Like the point he painted himself into a legitimate corner, and I think the way they got out of it was very satisfying. And rewatching it, I'm actually even more satisfied having Having spent more time probably with part one, just because it's, like I said, just to reiterate, it's so iconic. But, you know, part two, I think, I think they do a really good job of wrapping it up and in a way that you can go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that makes sense. So, eight, seven, five. Yeah. Imagine, 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 imagine um, uh, they beat the Borg and, and, and uh, Picard has his, his orgasm and he's like, oh, you saved me, number one. And then, pew. It, it shits down at the simulation in the goddamn fucking <laughs> danger room. And then that would have been, awesome. been like, that would have been like, like 10, 10 point five. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. I, I think, I think making Shelby the captain of the enterprise is actually a way more interesting, different Idea, story. Yeah. Oh, to tell. I wouldn't yeah. have liked that. That would have been depressing. Uh, no, that would have been awesome because like, yeah. he, like he was saying that that's something that, Picard would not have expected. He would have no oh, idea. Oh, I thought you meant coming. after Picard. Oh God, yeah, no, 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 no. I, totally no, agree no, I mean, you. I mean for the resolution of the story. Like, all right, oh, Picard yeah. knows it. He knows everything that we're going to do. Everything that's going to happen. All right, you know what? I hate you. I hate every idea you're bringing. You keep running circles around me. But Picard knows that I also hate you. So if I make you captain, he's going to have no idea what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, I think, is a really cool idea. That would have been really cool to do. Line. And I do wonder yeah. why they did not go that direction. No. Well, yeah, well, that kind of goes think... in this. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, they don't ahead, like women, ahead. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that goes into a pro like my personal problem with the episode if i do have like a major one is um it, it it's with that scene with gynan it's because mm. he assert, she asserts to Riker that you have to let go of picard completely and part of like that the build-up to that scene is like we just had seen him address the crew um very clearly as though like we all know picard's gone and we're all just dealing with that and that that's yeah. the way he framed it all and it's like and yeah you know let's all be who picard you know you know, trusted us to be like, that's basically right. how he framed the whole speech and everything. Like Picard was in the room with them, even if he wasn't there. But, and then, so Guinan comes in afterward and says like, Hey, I'm here. People talking, like people think they're going to die and you need to let go of Picard <laughs> because all you're talking about is how Picard's fucking gone. Yeah. And, but and then, she's like, I, I potentially had a closer relationship with Picard than you ever did. 
and I'm and I'm going to let him go. And it's the only way to save him and bring him back. It's like, what? Yeah, that's yeah, that is that is like kind of how does that make any sense at all? It's a bit of a weird whiplash in terms of like everyone in the episode has it's like it's like they wrote up till that point as if they knew Patrick Stewart was going to leave. And then yes. when the second part of the yeah. episode begins, they go, okay, so Patrick Stewart has renewed his contract. Now begin the Patrick Stewart retrieval arc. And they try to bring back uh, John Luke Picard. That's and you're probably like, exactly what happened. I'm imagining Riker and Picard and fucking Naruto and Sasuke clothes <laughs> fighting on a fucking lake. Yeah, they're running at each other. And it's super high frame rate for some reason. <laughs> so good. But then that's the thing. It's like, I feel like. Much like Best of Both Worlds, where I wish like like it was a bit more streamlined. Like Best of Both Worlds Part 1, I wished it was fully from Riker's point of view, right? Mm-hmm. And I kind yeah. of wish this episode played that more. Because at the beginning, it is. Like the first yeah. half is actually from Riker's point of view. And he's trying to figure stuff out. And it's working, I think, as an mm-hmm. episode. Um, but then once Picard comes back, it kind of becomes split up more. And then it ends on Picard, who hasn't been a character the whole episode. I think it should have ended back to Riker and sort of given Riker closure. Maybe there's a scene where Riker is like, okay, now that Picard is back, I'm no longer cap. Maybe there's a scene of him taking one of the circles off, you know, or there's a scene of him forward, being like, a know? scene of him being like, I'm going to shuttle off because I'm going to be a captain on another ship or something, you know, like some sort of ending to his arc. Because this arc wasn't really yeah, about they, Picard they at really all. They really didn't do anything. It yeah, stops. it's like they made so much hay out of the potential change to status quo that the walking back of that kind of like, it, it's it's just an unfortunate circumstance of getting those contracts renewed and, and having to like, you know, maneuver through all that. But it does make the script suffer a little bit plot wise. Yeah. And it just kind of, st- yeah. and like they were writing right up until the day of shooting. Like apparently like, the idea of putting all the Borg to sleep because because Michael Pillar always wanted to find some sort of creative way to defeat the Borg without like violence. Like he wanted to like right. trick them and like what's the opposite it- of violence sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, almost literally. Yeah. The and, ultimate like, you know, piece. <laughs> yeah. And then like, you know, he was like, I want it to be something clever and it has to involve some sort of ingenuity, preferably on Picard, like Picard being there as part of the ingenuity. And he apparently came up with the solution two days before they were going to start shooting. So then that's when he had to like actually write the scene and go, oh, right, right, okay, really quickly. And that's why like a lot of this honestly feels a bit rushed to me. I think th- I think there's three parts of it that really make up for and keep the episode itself cohesive. And it's one, Picard, uh, Jean-Luc Picard's performance, Patrick Stewart's performance remains very good. <laughs> Uh, like he no Jean Luc Picard's Patrick performance. So Patrick, Stewart's, Sir Jean Luc Picard, <laughs> uh, his performance Please remains really to him good, as Sir, <laughs> and sure. like kind of holds the performance of being this robot together really well. And two, because they could reuse the production design from the last finale, the production design remains pretty good for TNG. Like it's in a it's a higher level than it normally would be for a regular episode because. They could just build on what they had already previously built without having to like redo a lot of stuff. They even like At rebuilt the, same, the battle bridge. Like the battle bridge looks a lot better. Oh yeah, true, true. The the return of the battle bridge looked pretty nice. Like suddenly, like oh wait, that's a little snazzier than I remember. I just don't yeah, know it's exactly not the, how. it's not like the super smooth TOS looking style. Like they added a bunch more stuff to it, and it looks like pretty really nice and clean. yeah. That's true. That's true. Um, Although reusing some of the sets, like well, I mean, we're back on the Borg ship again. We're gonna yeah. shoot a Borg in that yeah. corridor again. Yeah, we're gonna shoot yeah, a Borg down the other Borg corridor. Ship. Is Again. very small, <laughs> <laughs> and and the other thing is that <laughs> that gigantic uh, cube is so small. <laughs> really great special <laughs> they're effects. They're in that they're in that hallway only. Like that is like the <laughs> yeah. only place they go in this image. Well, I think well, it's, it's, a, it's every, a modular design. Yeah, right? every so hallway, they, uh, every in the, hallway in the looks, the looks like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, okay, the inside of the board we, cube we is like the cube the from the cube. Yeah, it's yeah. the same hallway. Yeah. And, yes, and then yeah. also Picard also happens to always be in that area. Like, just I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, wouldn't he be locked away somewhere a little bit yeah, more? Why isn't he why isn't he tucked away somewhere safe? And he's so, yeah, always at like, the end of one there? of the corridors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's at the end of the third corridor every time. Yeah. It's the arrogance <laughs> of the Borg. They think they know more. 
And, uh, and the special <laughs> effects, like we said, are really good in this episode. Like there's some shots where you're like, wow, that's really great. Or the shot yeah. of Picard looking out the window. That's really great. Um, it's I funny think- how like impressive that shuttle shot is like where Data and Worf are going off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like everyone nice. here can notice how nice it is. Yeah. I don't think everyone, I don't think every viewer would, but it's just funny how it's like, oh, that's really impressive. Nice. Be- because it's not just technically <laughs> impressive. I think it's also like visually really appealing. Because like yeah, the, this idea like, yeah. of like being from like their side point of view and watching everything move past all this fucking it, lasers shooting. Look at all space that mise en scene, dude. Yeah, it's great. The composition's really it. nice and, and pleasing. Yeah. I just want to tack on one last thing. It's just kind of hilarious and adorable how Worf was like, they have neither honor nor courage. I Those know. are our greatest <laughs> weapons. And Riker's like, yeah. thank you, Worf. <laughs> Good talk. Yes, they're la- <laughs> yes, it's definitely the 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 best victors in history have won because they had a lot of honor. <laughs> <laughs> Not because they used dirty tactics to win their wars. <laughs> The American Revolution. Oh, that actually reminds <laughs> me. It's actually kind of fun when Worf is like, we'll never surrender to the Borg. And Borg's like, what? what? Why not? Yeah. Like, yeah. We have Borg. We're making everything like, better, man. Yeah. We're just making it better. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's y'all, everyone, y'all everyone's going to get y'all health see, insurance. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> In a way, yeah. Every, free health care for. Yeah. yeah everyone's getting universal free health care for everyone. Everyone's getting basically universal basic income. I mean. Well, like, you know what? Fuck it. I kind of do want to surrender to the Borg. Yeah, actually, right. is, is the ultimate time. socialism. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that when you bring up uh, Picard Borg interacting with Worf, it is kind of funny when like, oh, he 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 got woken up in medical bay, and they just kind of let him walk around and kind of like yeah. interact with people. They're in not consoles. afraid of him at all. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, and it's funny because you know Patrick Stewart's like kind of shorter as like yeah. as a person so but then he's wearing all this other stuff so it makes him look even shorter and then he's just walking <laughs> around as this little robot up to people going like you're a wharf i'm going to assimilate you on. You're, you're like, there's you're- also a funny there's a, such a funny moment where he's like walking around and then when um when crusher gives him the hypo spray in his yeah. neck yeah. It's like she yeah. does it suddenly, like he's yeah, going to attack. Got- he's, he's just standing there. Like you yeah, don't even no need to have to do it. You can yeah, just was- like leech it. There you go. You could probably yeah, ask him to lean over a little. What? When Sarah and I were watching that scene, Sarah took that scene to mean like she just had enough of him. Yeah. So- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's over talking. it. She's just like, shut up, you. She's like, shut all up. right, that's enough. Just shut up. We're gonna. We're it's gonna like her it. version of a of a blackjack. Yeah. <laughs> she just throws it down. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, it's all right. Best of both worlds, part two. That's what we we watched this week. We had a great time. Welcome back to newbie Star Trek. Listen, if you've been enjoying our really stupid discussion of one of the most coveted episodes of all time of TNG. Uh, you, can, you know, it would help if you, you know, give us a rating or a review wherever you're listening to this podcast. Or there on Spotify, you can give us a rating there. Or on Apple Podcast, you can give us a review. Or, you know, Podcast Addict, you can also give us a review. And also, if you ever want to reach out to us, send us some trivia, send us a question that we can answer live on the podcast. You can send us an email at... Actually live. <laughs> actually live the email is contact at newbie star trek.com that's contact at newbie star trek the dot com this week uh this is actually a really old email this is sent back in april the um, hell did? i've been i've been kind of just going, going back out, through our, our log of emails uh and uh this one's from neil and Patrick neil said yes sure yeah. <laughs> uh neil says greetings first of all dan marvin sarah and ricardo and i will add scott you guys are amazing. I love all your different viewpoints in this podcast have made rewatching TNG a blast, a complete blast. I missed that word. Just want to point <laughs> out some trivia in case it didn't come across your radar yet. Disregard if you perhaps did in fact cover some of these. I may have been high. After all, after all the total recall talk in the Captain's Holiday episode, uh-huh. I thought it was ironic that the male calamari dude was in fact in total recall. So you know those aliens that are like trying to retrieve the whatever? Yeah. yeah. The the so one of them plays the guy in total recall who's like kind of blonde, platinum blonde with the glasses. That's oh. he's played by that guy. Yeah, yeah. Also, Nagilam from where silence has lease 
is none other than Dr. Peter Silverman from the Terminator series. So the guy who played the Geico Gecko in yeah. the, the that's played really? by Dr. Peter Silverman from the Terminator series. I the like guy who guy. gets the syringe in his neck. Yeah. And oh his, him. Yeah, yeah. And then like okay. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And his, uh, he's in he's in part one, two, and three. Yes, yes. He's in the in the whole Oh, the, you know what? And he's also in Genesis. Yeah, yeah. They keep bringing him back to do things. Yeah. 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 That's and finally, odd. you probably also all knew our beloved Anya. Anya is the Muppet Muppet Girls uh like caretaker. You know, the one, the oh, short yeah. lady. Oh, yeah. The one that was uh, <laughs> yeah, briefly she... played by, um, gosh, what's her name? Twin Peaks girl. Twin Peaks. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, but um, if you, you probably all knew our beloved Anya was Gozer. So she goes her from Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Um, but also Flotsam and Jetsam from the Little Lur- Little Mermaid. So. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not the Little Littler Mermaid, the sequel. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> 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 the Mer- Little Mermaid series is either about getting littler or bigger. <laughs> God damn it! The it Little Mermaid again. too. The or Little just say Mermaid. The stupid like concept that I introduced back to me, and I keep laughing at it. <laughs> the bigger uh, mermaid. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. I look forward to this podcast each week. Y'all are incredible. Cheers. Thank you, Neil, for that very, very Thank nice Thank you, Neil. Email. We love you. Thanks, Neil. Thank very sweet. you. Very sweet. Also, uh, if you guys have been enjoying what we do in the podcast, you might enjoy other things. You can head on over to FugitiveFrames.com as Ricardo pours more tequila down his throat. I can't believe we can handle that. That's kind of crazy. Yo, you can handle that. Um, <laughs> only, a, only a little sprinkle comes out because it's got a little like I'm st- I'm still yeah surprised still though <laughs> still <laughs> uh, you can head on over to fugitiveframes.com where we have links to all these other fun things we do we have the Fugitive Frames film podcast where we do discussions about lots of other things that aren't Star Trek like the terrible Netflix Cowboy Bebop series or oh, we did Canon an episode films. on that yeah. Or the Squid Game, when Sarah, Dan, and I watched it while Dan came over randomly once, and we watched the whole thing in one sitting. Yeah, we, we were did. like, "Huh, <laughs> that was a show." So th- it that's, right. just, uh, yeah, it was all right. We do stuff like that on the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. We also have our YouTube channel, Fugitive Games. Now I haven't posited this to Sarah yet, but Dan and I were maybe hoping we could one day get back to Phoenix Wright. You know, do some of that oh. trials and tribulations. I think that yeah, would the be a trilogy lot of fun. does need finishing. It's a very it feels good like unfinished business. Yes, this is, and I it know. also feels like <laughs> well, it, it in particular it feels bad to not finish after getting through part two because part two is supposed to be the bad one. Yeah, so it's like the, amongst it's, them, it's, it's easily the worst. Um, and but so, trials and tribulations is so fucking good. I'm still it, waiting to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, we. I'm still trying to get the the multiplayer version of that working. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll I'll look into it more. We've just moved, so we had to do like a lot of figuring out of things and whatnot. But we'll we'll, we'll get on that. We'll figure that out. And you know, oh, one last thing. So, uh, the movie I had made, A Knight's Tour, not A Knight's Tale, A Knight's Tour. <laughs> It's, it's very a short post. <laughs> Two very different movies. Yeah. Distinction. Yes. Yeah. A, a night's tour. A it's night's like a tale? Post- <laughs> uh, Holy it's like shit, a short- you work with Heath Ledger? <laughs> yeah. I know, we were, right? Yeah. Yeah, Marvin directed Heath Ledger. I don't know oh if you guys God. know that. but I can't uh, believe you directed a night's tool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the night's tour is like this post. You directed Black Knight with Martin Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! A Black Knight's tour. I, I, they're both black actors, by the way. So that can- Dark Knight's tour tale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dark Knight. Uh, so that's a a short post apocalyptic feature film I made, and uh, it's now on Joe Blow has started streaming free films oh. on their website and YouTube channel. And Who's it's Joe one of the movies. Joeblow.net. Joe Joe Blow. No, Joeblow.com. Joeblow.com. The one of those like, you know, kind of Joe like Blow. old school. It's been around forever. Do I need to activate yeah. ExpressVPN yeah. to access this? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> is this yeah. a weird site? Is this site uh, safe? Yeah, well, it's uh, you know it's he's like, like one it. of the one of the old guard of internet movie reviewers. Yeah, seriously. Um, and uh, he started streaming free movies online and uh, a legal? night's tour. No, oh, yeah, yeah, it's all it's all licensed. We we gave it's all above license. board. It's on the level. 
Yeah, and uh, yeah, so it's available for streaming on uh, Joe Blow's YouTube channel. So if you just go to YouTube and <laughs> don't look up Joe a Blow nice on, tour. Don't be careful when you yeah, Google yeah, Joe yeah, Blow. Yeah. You have to, you have to <laughs> yeah. be careful how you type it. <laughs> Joe Blow. If it just says free, like Night's Tour, free movie, full download, 2010, Divix <laughs> Rip. <laughs> not AVI. That's not Divix the one you want. Rip. And if it yeah, yeah. if it divides into like twenty five different Rapid Gator links, then <laughs> you, you really don't want to start. Yeah. For God's sakes, don't mess up and type in Blow Joe because you're gonna get something really yeah. weird. You're you're gonna get something that was yeah. Not yeah you're on your own there. Not intended there. Yeah. Yep. Well, all that stuff you can head on over to fugitiveframes.com and you'll find links to all of that shit. All right, next week, we're going to get a very sentimental episode. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's called Family. Aw, yeah, Family. So it's a very sentimental kind of like retrospect, like introspective, not retrospective, introspective. <laughs> retrospective. It's yeah. a clip show. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Vin Diesel's first acting role? <laughs> The second episode of the fourth season is a fucking clip show. It's a clip show from uh, part two of Best of Both Worlds. Remember when this happened? <laughs> uh, Sorry. But yeah, that'll that'll be next week. But yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening, everybody. It's always great to have you guys come on board and listen to us. Scott, thank you so much for joining us. As always, it's Thanks, been Scott. fantastic. Scott. Thank you for having me again. Always love, love talking you, Trek. Always and love we'll laughing at Trek. Having fun with friends talking about Trek. Heck yeah, dude. And we'll see everybody next time. Goodbye, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Everybody. Have a good week. Be Enjoy well. Comic-Con if you're here. Or- Whoa, there yeah, we go. Comic-Con. I'm behind you right now. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the scariest fucking shit if someone's listening to it at Comic-Con. <laughs> like, I know. Turn around and there's Dan. Just, hey. <laughs>